Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm taking cuttings from a tomato plant and I'll be propagating them with different methods. We're going to be looking to see if aspirin makes a good rooting hormone and can help our plants to develop new roots faster. Now aspirin is simply a brand name and the chemical compound of that product is acetyl salicylic acid. The thought process with this being a good rooting hormone is that salicylic acid is actually a rooting hormone found in plants. It's been studied in academic settings and proven to help aid plants in both rooting success and rooting quickness. Most people don't have salicylic acid lying around their house, but they do have acetyl salicylic acid. And that is why people have started to try this as a DIY rooting hormone. To see if aspirin actually does anything as a rooting hormone, I'm crushing up one tablet of my aspirin here and adding it into my reservoir. I've got two jars full of water here. It's regular tap water, which I've done nothing to treat. To prepare these cuttings for propagation, I'm gonna be removing lower level leaves as well as any flower sites. I'm gonna have three plants each in both of these reservoirs one as the water control and one with the added aspirin. I'm using pipe cleaners around the top of my reservoirs to help keep these plants still and ensure that only the bottom of each stem is submerged in the water. Here you can see what that looks like. My aspirin hasn't dissolved very well yet, so I've stirred this reservoir a bit to try and help that process. After four days of propagating, these plants were starting to have noticeable differences between our control and the aspirin treated reservoirs. Here we're looking at our aspirin plants. You can see the tips on some of these leaves of browning and many of these leaves are beginning to curl themselves inward. These plants are shrinking and likely not absorbing enough water. In comparison to our controls, you can see these leaves are still alive and spread out they're trying to soak up as much sun as possible. By day seven, we had roots. You can see here our aspirin plant has continued to deteriorate. These tips are really starting to brown and the leaves continue to curl in on themselves. I have not seen this happen with any of the DIY rooting hormones that I've tried so far and it's never happened with my control plants. This really doesn't speak well to aspirin's ability to help these plants survive and root. Checking in on our stems, they're very dirty and I don't see any signs of roots on any of these plants. I think it's possible that one aspirin tablet was too much for this reservoir. The aspirin seems to be building up on the plants and possibly preventing them from absorbing water and growing new roots. The plants in our control reservoir have a very different story. Here we have clear signs of rooting. These roots are going to only continue to shoot out and develop. Our second plant has roots as well, as we can see here. Our third control hasn't rooted yet, but you can see these early signs of bulging around the bottom of the stem. Those typically take place one day before the roots emerge. Also of note is how these leaves look. You can see these tips aren't browning at all and the leaves are still wide open. I wanted to run this same experiment again, but this time use less aspirin in my reservoir. I may have used too much last time and maybe that was a bad thing. So to give aspirin a fair shot, I'll be taking what looks to be about half a tablet, breaking that up and adding it into one of these reservoirs. Once again, we had roots showing about one week after propagation started. Here on the right, we have our control plants. You can see that both of these stems have rooted. There's not a lot of roots here yet, but they will continue to grow and they are progressing quite nicely. With our aspirin treated stems, we can see that one of them has good healthy roots growing and the other one doesn't. It does have slight bulging beginning at the bottom of the stem. That's a sign that rooting will occur, but we don't have it yet. I'm willing to call this trial a tie between the aspirin and the controls, but
but the first trial was a clear win for the control. Across these trials, it would appear as though at best, acetylsalicylic acid does nothing, and at worst, it kills off my leaves and prevents my stems from growing any roots. The dosage added to your reservoir seems to be very finicky, and it's easy to add too much and ultimately kill your cuttings. As a result of this, I will not be using aspirin or acetylsalicylic acid as a rooting hormone going forward, and I wouldn't recommend it to others. I think we can safely say that aspirin as a rooting hormone is lies from the internet. This is something we have seen before with DIY rooting hormones, but there are some out there that work, and I would invite you to check out the link in the description below to my Propagation Races playlist, where you'll be able to see what does work, what doesn't work, and make sure you're growing your roots as fast as possible. Thanks as always for watching, and happy harvesting!